Today on the Indo Daily, unsolved: the disappearance of Philip Kearns. It was completely out of character for him to be not to, you know, not to be home. He always came home within a quarter of an hour, twenty minutes. No, he seemed to be getting on well at school. We spoke to his teachers; they had no problems with him. For so many of Ireland's adults who remember the 1980s, there's one very significant missing persons case that still haunts us after all these years. This afternoon's big search for 13-year-old Philip Kearns was a community's response to his disappearance. However, despite the hundreds of hours that have gone into the search so far over the past 17 days, the Gardaí are still baffled by his disappearance. Now, when Philip Kearns disappeared, it was the image of a young boy in his confirmation suit that resonated because we all felt like we knew a Philip. He was the fresh faced brother, the kind hearted son or the pal you'd kick a ball about with on the nearby green. In short, his vanishing could have happened to any one of us. Now, this week, that little boy is missing 36 years and while his disappearance remains a mystery. Along with Gardy and family, there's a handful of journalists who have never stopped asking about what happened to Philip on the 23rd of October in 1986.